hey y'all um I did not watch the Grammys I think the Grammys have become a popularity contest who can we get views off of who can we make money off of and so be it if that's what you gotta do then so be it I just choose not to watch it um Shouts out to Joel who commented and he asked me, he wanted to know my commentary and my opinion of Cardi B winning and Drake's speech at the Grammys. Um, as far as Drake's speech, <clears throat> I love what he said. Congrats on Drake winning. Um, I don't know if he'll ever win again. Uh, hopefully so, but him saying that, I just don't know. My face is breaking out bad, so if I touch my face, because I'm got these little bumps. Um, I thought what Drake said was very genius. Um, into support of anyone who has never won a Grammy, I just think he's he's cool. I don't necessarily go up up for his music, but I don't not listen to it. Like when it comes out, I listen to it. I find a few songs I like. I play them. Before I get started on Cardi B winning this best rap album of the year, I do want to congratulate her for her success. But people keep saying, you know, she earned, she's worked so hard, she's did this, she's done that. What exactly has she done? And I'm not trying to discredit her, I want somebody to tell me. Because whenever I ask somebody, they call me a hater. And so... I don't understand what she's done. She was in a strip club. No diss to strippers. She went from that to being Instagram famous. Not everybody has the Instagram luxury. Then she went to love and hip hop. Not everybody has that love and hip hop luxury. So, how was that working hard? What has she done to, oh, she really deserves it? How? How? I tweeted today, I said, you know, I feel like Cupcake is the one who y'all should be praising in Tokyo Jets, the Cash Doll. Let me tell y'all something. Cash Doll was in a really, really bad deal where she couldn't release any music. Anything she released would get shot down. And she still managed to come out. All her last verses she been putting out being fired. She, been, she stays on the road or whatever. I just think if you're going to support one, why can't we support them all? But and then another thing about Cardi B, I just feel like she's a distraction that the white people have put out to make black people look bad. I mean, I get that she's relatable to some people. She's a character. She's funny. But to me, the bitch is ignorant. She's ignorant to me. Like, Role my I seen somebody say she's my role model. She makes me want to be the best I want to be. Like how? And and if that if she motivates you, so be it. But I want someone to logically sit down with me and tell me what exactly has she done. I don't think if you're in a certain field and you people talking about oh she stayed on the road, she got to feed a family. What's she gonna do? Go back to the strip club and then how bitches laughing at her. She got booking. She had dates she's supposed to do. She was she got signed to Atlantic. They made her put an album on. They had certain producers and stuff. Did you get the producers yourself, Cardi B? Or did Atlantic get all that stuff together? Because they promoted you. I, if, if, if she was independent right now, if she wasn't on Atlantic, I'd be having a total 
different conversation for you with, with you guys. I don't Nikki's Queen era. I think Queen is a this doesn't have anything to do with me being a Nicki Minaj fan. It does not. I like talent over gimmick and hype any day. And I think I've been screaming this. That's a lot of people's problem. Y'all think hype and popularity equals talent and it does not. Y'all got to stop being so bandwagon and jumping on the, band, the, tr the, the train. Oh, the media don't like her no more, so I can't like her no more. Have a mind of y'all fucking own. I don't want to drag Cardi B because my initial issue isn't with Cardi B. I just think she's ignorant and she doesn't do it for me, much like just hilarious. She doesn't do it for me, but I understand there's a market and a lane for everything. So I try to stay off of it. But what really bothered me today or last night she wins, and the first thing everybody starts talking about is Nicki Minaj. Like, hmm? If she's y'all new queen of rap, why y'all mentioning Nicki? And what exactly does a Grammy solidify? Because let's talk about the other girls that's won Grammys. Kim, uh, Missy, what? Some of the other girls, Salt and Pepper, where they at now? Y'all don't support them. So Grammys really mean nothing. They just announce you as being a Grammy Award winner. Like, I just... I don't understand how... And don't get me wrong. I know nobody goes in the studio and says, I want to make another flop album. But that's what I'm saying about her. And then she de she blows up today and deactivate her, her deactivates her Instagram... And I'm thinking like, bitch, you should be happy. Fame is not for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's cute when you got bitches coming at you on Instagram, but then you got the whole world coming at you. I don't think fame is for Cardi B, and I've been saying that. And I'm not even hating on her. For any of you Cardi B fans out there, I, I'm not hating on her. I just don't think she's hip-hop or rap. I think she's trapped. Name one line from Cardi B that's iconic. Like, name four or five lines from Cardi B that's iconic. I'll wait. Like, and if you can't, like, and then somebody was talking about, yeah, her iconic line is, I got bloody shoes. That's what impresses y'all. Really? I'm so into work ethic, like cupcakes, like, like cupcakes. She's independent. I know that woman puts out an album very often. You know what I'm saying? She puts out, I, I believe she dropped an a album in like two albums in like a year or six months or so. She's the one that's out here really working or whatever. The Cash Dog, the Tokyo Jets, the LaCaylee 47s. Um, what's the other girl? Because um, I don't want to, I said Tokyo Jets. Um... Naya Lee, um, The Stallion, uh, La Brittany, Miss Banks. Like, it just blows my mind how y'all only think it's two female rappers that's winning, and there's so many other female rappers that rap better than Cardi B. I don't even speak her name on my social media or anything like that. I've muted her name on my social media. I don't want to see anything about that girl. Not that I dislike her. I dislike how y'all view her. Like, why can't y'all support two at the same time? And, I, and, and this is no disrespect to the people that don't like Nicki Minaj, but y'all will use Nicki Minaj for y'all little bum-ass, ugly-ass pictures and captions, but then shade her. Then they had Nikki had dropped her freestyles and there was a tweet going around and it went viral and it was like, yeah, I want to admit, I listen to Nicki Minaj's freestyle publicly. They go hard, privately they go hard, but I can't publicly go with her because the media does. And it's just like y'all are really bandwagon. It's embarrassing for y'all, but rap album of the year. Rap album of the year. And here's my problem with that. You know, they flew Mac Miller's parents out. They flew Mac Miller's parents out. To 
to have them going out and sit in a damn audience to give that shit to Cardi B. You know, I'm just disgusted. I, I was really, last night, you know, my best friend was like, how the hell did she win? And I was just like, you know what, you can't get mad about it. It's all about politics, views, clicks, likes, and money now. She's riding her wave. And then this blow up she went on today like, oh, I do whatever, whatever I gotta do. Bitch, let me win a Grammy. I'm gonna be like, bitch, fuck it. She's not meant for fame. You win a Grammy, that's supposed to be the highlight of your career. Supposed to be, because I don't think it matters these days. But it's supposed to be the highlight of your career. You got one album. You got all this good stuff going on and you choose to focus on the negative things. I have been seeing a lot of comments on the internet saying that Cardi B won her Grammy. I mean, I, I guess that's got to be hurtful, but you're not a rapper. You're not a rapper, Cardi B. You're, Cardi B's not a rapper. <clears throat> no matter how you slice it or dice it or how she... How many beats she talks over in a, in a, uh, she's not a rapper to me. A rapper to me is a Jay, a Nas, a Nicki, a, even Kanye, a, a Tupac, a Biggie, Kim, Foxy, you know, people that are lyrical, even Remy, Lady Luck, lyrical people who actually spit. Who actually go in the studio and sit down and write their raps. Rap is like becoming a joke. And they want to say like Nicki stole Kim's swag. But I, what the colorful wigs? I think Nicki is more like Foxy Brown to me. I mean... If you want to say Nicki stole the Kim's look and colorful wigs or whatever, oh, okay, if that's what you want to say, then, okay, cool. But y'all, even if you don't like Nicki, when Nicki came out, none of them girls were doing anything. Nicki revived female rap. Whether you want to admit it or not, Nikki created the lane for there to be a Cardi B. Remember when y'all was dragging Nikki for doing pop pop music, telling her she's a sellout. Now Cardi B over there doing pop records. They in the top ten. But she don't pay no homage. And you know what? I really want to call out Missy Elliott, uh, Missy, Salt and Pepper, all those girls, but especially Missy. Like, you mean to tell me she let this stuff go on between Kim and Nikki and hasn't said anything about it to Remy? Like, you just picked and chose a side? Then they want to, all these girls want to, the, the, the rap girls want to congratulate Cardi on winning her Grammy. And they have every right to, but won't congratulate Nicki on just surpassing, being the first female rapper to surpass 100 million records sold. That's an accomplishment to me. Winning a Grammy, that means people are still fucking with you. A Grammy means some people sat back at a damn desk at an academy and said, we're going to give this to Cardi. Make the Grammys, you know what, here's what I think. Make the Grammys uh, be a fan award. Let the fans vote online for it. Then we can say, that bitch lost fan square. That's, it is, that's what I think needs to start happening with the Grammys, because the Grammys is full of shit. I didn't watch it. I got to catch up on it. Fantasia, Yolanda, Aretha Tribute. Then they had Jennifer Hudson up there. Not Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Lopez doing the Motown tribute. I 
I like J Lo. I love J Lo. But it's so many people. Hell, I would have rather y'all had Jesse J up there. And y'all had Layla Hathaway in the audience. Sitting there. Watching. And she had to get up there. You know what? I ain't even gonna drag J-Lo. She just got her booking and came and got up there and performed. Um... Here's a point I want to make. Cardi B, I don't think she even caused, does she? I don't think she identifies herself as being black. And here's a point I want to make. She doesn't even identify as being black. But y'all support her. I think she's ripping off of our culture. Is she black? Then y'all might say Nikki's Dominican, but Nikki, Nikki identifies as a black woman. I haven't heard Cardi say she's black. I haven't. And then she uses nigga and all this, you know, whatever. Growing up around black people don't make you black. Having a black best friend don't make you, don't make you non-racist. Oh, you know those white people. I got, I got, a, I got a friend that's black. That does not mean you're not racist. You just have a black friend. If you go stand in the garage, it don't make you a car. But y'all want to smash the Kardashians <laughs> for taking y'all black men from y'all. Well, Cardi B does the same thing, and y'all praise her and listen to her music. The comments have been revealed when Cardi has called y'all black women monkeys and all this kind of stuff. How she feels. I mean, I I'm just saying. She's not black. She doesn't identify as black. So, whether how I feel about it or not, I don't feel that she deserved that rap album of the year. I don't. I don't know what she's done, but be a stripper. Get Instagram famous on going love and hip hop. If that's working hard, then I, so be it. I don't think that's working hard. I think that's you get platforms, you work hard, you fuck DJ self. Or you, quote-unquote, acted like you was. And another thing I didn't like about Cardi B, she came up off this whole culture, this idea of being a hoe. Meanwhile, she had, like, a man the whole time and got a man now. She got hoes praising her. Y'all got to wake up, black people. They trying to make us look bad. They put Cardi B in a place to compete with Nicki Minaj and put her in this, on this pedestal so she can make black women look bad yet again. But... That's who y'all praise. I'm not fucking with it. I'm not Team Cardi B. I'm not. It has nothing to do with her. It has everything to do with what she's not. I don't think so. No way. I don't. And her husband either. Her husband either. I don't. I don't care for him either. He gonna release that little documentary of her giving birth for album promo. Like what? And I'm 19 minutes in, so I gotta get ready to get out of here. Y'all, I didn't want this to be a Dragon Cardi B session, but Joel, you asked and I granted your wish. But I just don't want y'all to lose sight of our own community. And then y'all drag people who rip off our culture. And then we support people who actually do rip off our culture. So I just, 
let's support our own before we let other people, you know, before we let other people come in and rip off our, live off our culture. Let's do that. I challenge y'all to go listen to one of the other female rappers that's not on Billboard. And people keep saying, oh, it's only two girls out. No, it's not. There's so many other female rappers out there with talent. I promise you. I listen to them all the time. Go check them out. Let's support underground artists and get them mainstream, get them on Billboard. Let's do that. Because like Kim said in one of her interviews not too long ago, one of the best things she said, uh, rest in peace in her face, uh, she said, if we're going to support one, we need to support them all. And I totally agree with that. She's absolutely right. Let's support them all. But congrats to um, Belka Lees on winning her Grammy. Um, whether how I feel about it or not, she's got it. I don't think you can take it back. She won a Grammy. And she's acting like she's not even happy about it. But anyways, y'all, I'm 21 minutes in. Joel, you better get down in these comments and let me know what you think. Because I came in here and I dragged Cardi B. Um, this wasn't supposed to be a drag Cardi B. But th that's just how I feel. She doesn't do it for me. I come from a time where you actually had to have talent. You rapped. You sang. You wrote, if you was a rapper, you wrote your own raps. And if you didn't, people called you out. And you never made another record again. So... I'm out. Bye.